So what is your utopia project? Well, as you know, a utopia is defined as an ideally perfect place. A dystopia is defined as the opposite, a society characterized by human misery as squalor, oppression, disease, and overcrowding. In The Maze Runner and Ready Player One, the characters are living in dystopian worlds, each ravaged by war, disease, and famine. The gladers of the Maze Runner had to provide shelter for themselves, find a food source, and create their own government and system of rules and laws. And the characters of Ready Player One escaped to the virtual utopia of the Oasis. If you had to design your perfect world based in the pre-virus reality of 2020, what would it look like? What would life be like for the people who live in your community? What would be special about your community that would make other people want to join it? So you are going to be designing your own utopian world in a group of no more than four people, all of whom need to be in your English class, period. Your group will be working to create a presentation, including a slideshow, where you must supply enough information for each of the categories below to inform others of your community and convince them to join your utopia. This project will be done on Google Slides, and Mr. Applebaum created a template for you. Oh, hey, that's me. There are separate pieces of art marked with an asterisk that can be done physically and then photographed to include in your slideshow, or that can be created through Google Draw. Note that any images you or your group did not make, those that are pulled from the internet, and that you used on the slideshow will need to be properly cited via night sight. Ms. Flaherty has recorded a video showing you how to do this, and you'll receive a separate instruction sheet that goes over how to do citations. Your final slideshow and works cited page are due in Mr. Applebaum's English class on Monday, June 1st. Each of the categories will have a due date posted below, and each category will be graded separately. Each category is worth 20 points for your English class. So with 10 categories total, there's 200 points on the line for just this slideshow alone. You'll also need to do a works cited page, which is 10 points for your English class, and that is due for Mr. Applebaum's class on Monday, June 1st. There is also a peer and self-evaluation form that is worth 10 points for your English class, and this is due on Wednesday, June 3rd. So there's a lot of points associated with this project. So I, I encourage you, and I'm sure Ms. Flaherty will as well, to take this project seriously. So when creating your utopian community, be sure to be creative and unique and be neat. The perfect society would only expect that. Now I'm going to go over the categories of utopian creation and you can go ahead and read on your own to go into much uh, more detail, but I'm just gonna give you an overview of the different categories. So here are the questions that you will be required to answer and address in your slideshow. You may have multiple slides for the larger topics. And remember, I created a template for you that will allow you uh, access to all of these questions in an easy uh, to read slideshow, slideshow format. Please note, if you are one of Ms. Troike's ELD students, you can choose not to do two of the categories that you have been assigned by your English teacher. This means you cannot choose to ignore government and economy, technology, environment and climate, and power source. Those will be turned in for your history and science classes. And I'll be going over that in a separate video. So the first category is government and economy, which is where you are going to be thinking about how your community is run. What are the laws? What are the rules that define your society? What is your flag for your society? Who makes the laws? Do you have a democracy, monarchy, or dictatorship? These are some of the questions you're going to need to answer. So Mr. Andralowitz and Mrs. Kirby are posting resources for you starting on Friday, April 24th. These resources will be things you can read that will help you complete the government and economy categories. They'll be having you turn in those slides separately to them. One of the other categories is education. So an education and school system is necessary for preparing young people to be successful in life, both academically and socially. So you have seen how we have had to move online over the past month and a half 
to cope with the current situation. Think about how this is beneficial for some people to learn. Think about how it may not be beneficial for some people to learn. Think about how you might want to run education within your own community. So Ms. Flaherty and I will post resources for you to read um, about education systems that will allow you to answer these questions. We'll also be giving you information about neighborhoods and housing. So what kind of housing? Is everybody living together in one giant building? Does everybody have their own house or apartment? So think about how the neighborhoods are set up within your community. Now, employment is a category that will make you have to think about what are the jobs that people consider necessary or important. So here you'll be designing um, at least or choosing five different jobs that will allow you to have your society function. What are those five jobs? What are the responsibilities for that job? How are those people chosen for the job? And this is where you can also come up with uh, uniforms. So if you like to draw and you'd like to draw what these uniforms would look like and then take a photo and insert them into your slideshow, you can. So this is a chance for you to be artistic and creative. Now, you can't have a society run without money. You can't be using U.S. dollars if you're running your own utopia. So think about how money will work in your utopia. Ms. Flaherty and I will provide resources for these uh, for you to read so that you'll be able to learn more about different forms of currency and money that you can use for your society. You can also design your own coins and paper money. Again, this is an opportunity for those of you who love to do art to come up with an example. Transportation is how people get around. So do you have free busing? Do you have a train system? What are the ways people get around your community? That's another uh, category that we will provide you with information on. Now within your science class, you're going to have a few different categories that you will need to cover. And the nice thing is you get to do it in your science class, get points from your science teacher for it, and then copy and paste it into your English slideshow. So here are the categories that you will be covering in your science class. The first is technology. So is your community going to be very futuristic in the kind of technology that they use? Or is it a little more uh, old fashioned, like the Amish who do not use technology? There's also a science section on environment and climate. So where in the world your utopia is means it has different uh, weather patterns, different uh, natural disasters are possible. Think about where in the world uh, you might want your utopia to take place. That also involves what kind of animals are in your utopia. Finally, another source for your science program is your uh, power source. What you'll need to do is figure out how you're going to run the power in your society. So that is the final of the three slides uh, or categories that you will need to do for your science class that you can then copy and paste into your Utopia slideshow for English. Finally, the last category, how do people unwind and have fun within your community? So we will be posting uh, different things for you, uh, resources that allow you to read about forms of recreation. Uh, and then this is the last group of slides that you'll need to turn in. So this is your packet. This is the best source of information that you can use. And if you have any questions, as always, please contact Ms. Flaherty or myself, Mr. Applebaum.